Hi guys, in this video I thought we'll quickly have a look at how to draw an auxiliary view from a front view. Um, for this example, what I did was in your book, AW Engineering Drawing by AW Bounty, uh, page number 198, 7.4 Bevel Washer, uh, I'm going to use that question to go ahead and draw my front view and then draw the auxiliary view. Now, I'm going to quickly go ahead and start drawing my front view. I'm not going to give too many instructions because you guys already know uh, how to draw a front view. Just a quick reminder, make sure that your snaps um, are opened up and they're, they're docked on top um, and your layers are created. And I'm going to start drawing in the draw level. Drawing is quite simple. Make sure that uh, you press M on your keyboard so that you have length and angle. Just point in the direction you want to draw and type in your length and angles. It's as simple as that. Now for this, um, I need the total length, okay, so for the total length, I know that the radius is 22 and from the end point to the center, the distance is 38. So the total length would be 38 plus 22. Now, once I've drawn this, now the next line, I'm going to use this AccuDraw to automatically have it at 90 degrees, okay? Now, we do not know the length, okay? But I need to make sure that the angle between these two are 90 degrees. So, I'll keep it locked at that snap. Um, the easiest way would be just draw that and then go ahead and um, I'll go and trim it off. So trim multiple that's done because that length is not given now at any point if I go and check this angle must be 90 degrees and this total length should be 38 plus 22 uh, because it's got a red center line and from the center line to the edge it's 22 so if I was going to draw that hole uh, the easiest way would be more parallel I'll say make a copy, I'll say 22, and then of course there's a hole of diameter 20, so I'm going to take radius 10, okay, now quickly pick them up and move them to the correct levels and then I'll trim them off after that. So I've got my hole. Um, I quickly measure this before I extend the center line. Make sure that this your um, dimensioning says alignment true. So 22 and 10. Perfect. So my front view is now complete. The next step is to go ahead and draw the auxiliary view. So I'm going to go to construction lines 
and my construction lines are yellow in color now for the purpose of this video I'm not sure if yellow is going to show so I'll make it red Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw my construction line slightly longer than my existing geometry line. Make sure that your angle is 150 because it's inclined at 30 degrees from the left. Uh, tab length could be anything so I'll just say 100. So now if I zoom in they're perfectly aligned. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is to draw my auxiliary view um, the auxiliary view could be at any distance from the front view. Now because I've got a lot of space, um, I have the luxury of space here. So I can give any distance. Depending on how many dimensions you want to put in between the views, you can make that decision. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say move parallel. I'll make this as 50. Pick up my construction line. There you go. So I'm going to start drawing there. Now the total width of this is 44. So I'm going to say 44. I'll have another construction line. And there you go. I'm going to start that. Okay. So this is only a partial auxiliary view. If I was going to draw a full auxiliary view, it would be 65. Okay. So that distance would be 65. So Going ahead, I'm going to just address the questions that you guys asked me. The questions were how to draw the perpendicular lines and start off drawing the auxiliary view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again say line. Now to make sure that my angle is at 90 degree, go ahead and just draw a line on top of this. Uh, I'll say intersection snap. So now it automatically locks at 90 degree. Any distance, go ahead and draw that. Now, if I measure this, my doing. <laughs> Ninety degrees. Okay. Now you could use um, analyze measure angle because it's an ongoing process. And there you go. It's showing ninety degrees. Um, so I'm going to go back. Now again, I told you I was going to show you the easiest method. So what I'm going to do is I need construction line or projection lines all through. The easiest way would be so now that I know that this is. Um, at 90 degrees to the base and all my lines are perfectly aligned I'll just pick that up and say copy and I'll say I want to copy it from this point of intersection to point of intersection here here point of intersection here and So now I've got that. So I've, I can go ahead and start drawing now because now again I'll remind you this is only a partial auxiliary view but for your tutorial you have to do a full auxiliary view. So instead of just doing the um, 44 distance you would use 65 so you will draw everything all around. Um, I'm only drawing this surface. Yeah, I'm not drawing the rest. So if I was going to go ahead and complete that I would say draw place line that's 44 now again it's straight till the center line after that I've got an arc so I'm going to just draw that okay now I need to find the midpoint because I need to draw a circle and an arc so I'm going to go ahead and the easiest way again move parallel 22 
got my center line intersection see it perfectly aligns with the construction lines I want to draw one more that's it 22 now remember the construction lines and the diameters must match perfectly so can't see any overlap nothing beautiful now if I go ahead and trim this I have the auxiliary view of that surface okay so display turn off the construction lines and I now have partial auxiliary view of the surface. Now if I was going to work more on this and do a complete auxiliary view, I'll project. Let me go ahead and turn my construction lines on. I'll go ahead and copy this, move it from here, move it from here, and then I'll go ahead and complete it. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Um, keep practicing and you would get good at um, using MicroStation Connect. Bye-bye.